So while we transition to this fall like weather here in Georgia, something else that often is not cooling down but heating up this time of year is the tropics. And right now, look at this. I'm going to step out of the way and show you the big picture. We have four different named storms in the Atlantic and one other area we're watching. Fiona, which has walloped the Canadian Maritimes overnight, Gaston, Hermine, but Ian is the storm that we really have to focus on because this will cause significant impacts wherever it ends up making landfall in the US and could it influence our weather in North Georgia by next weekend? It's possible, but we're still a week out, so it's really hard to know for sure. But let me show you the latest on this storm. They've got seven missions for the Hurricane Hunter scheduled to fly into Ian today, but right now winds of 45 miles per hour, so it's strengthened a little bit overnight. Gust to 60. There's a tropical storm watch out for Jamaica. Hurricane watches out for the Cayman Islands and the spaghetti models really closely clustered through the weekend moving through the Caribbean. But you notice here as we get into early next week as it's making that approach towards the US coastline, there's a little bit more of a model spread this morning. These are the spaghetti models which show us with these models where they think the center of the storm will go. Of course, impacts from tropical systems can be hundreds of miles outside the center, but kind of the main cluster of these takes it in somewhere between Tampa and the Big Bend of Florida. But you notice how there's some models that bring it further west, some models that bring it further east. So the forecast track I'm going to show you right now is not what it will look like as it's nearing landfall. It's going to change some, but here's the big picture. It's battling a little bit of wind shear right now. Once it gets into Monday, Tuesday time frame, warm ocean waters, no wind shear, this thing will strengthen. So could be a major hurricane and is forecast to do so as it's nearing landfall somewhere on that west coast of Florida. So something we're watching very closely there. And could we see impacts in Georgia? It's really too early to know what the final track of that storm will be after its landfall, but something we're watching closely. Meanwhile, in North Georgia, it's a perfect 11 a light day. We've got chilly temps this morning. You'll need a light jacket if you're stepping out. 49 Canton, Duluth, 56 in Atlanta, and 50 in Peachtree City. We're going to have sunshine throughout the day today, though, so I want you to enjoy it. Soak it up. 82 degrees this afternoon should be nice out in Athens as well. Tomorrow, 30% chance of some isolated showers, especially around midday as a cold front passes through. Behind that front, Check out what happens on our seven day forecast. More sunshine into much of next week.